just turned on to the Dempster Highway going towards Inuvik and then on to Taktiaktak. There are two ferries that we need to cross, one Peel River crossing and then the other one is Mackenzie River Ferry. As of yesterday afternoon, the Peel River Ferry was closed because of high water and so the ferry could not operate. Be that as it may, we're driving to it anyhow. It's gonna take a couple of days for us to get there and hopefully by the time we get there, it is open. We may have to wait a couple of days. We'll see how it shakes out. But at the moment, the ferry is closed and uh, we're hoping that by the time we get there, it's gonna be open. We, uh, just turned in, into Dempster maybe about 10 miles ago. Uh, air down, I'm uh, running 25 PSI on all four wheels, front and back, and uh, all gassed up. I got my uh, Titan tank, uh, 12 gallon extra ready, but I don't anticipate it be uh, necessary. Uh, my range is 338 miles at the moment, and the next which is more than 300 kilometers, which is the next service station. So we should be okay, unless they have no gas, in which case, then my extra tank comes in hand. The road is pretty, it's a dirt road, but it's very nicely compact, and I'm going 90 kilometers per hour on it right now. Um, so in that respect, it is so far so good.
Thursday, June 16th, and we are at Eagle Plains in Yukon. They, we've been, we stayed here the night at the motel because we got word that the ferry about 100 miles up the road is closed. The waters are too high and the uh, ferry captain had to, what they call, drop the cable because there, were, there was a lot of uh, debris coming down the river that was getting stuck on the cable and so they drop it at the bottom of the river and they just wait till the uh, ferry, the, the water subsides and then they can resume operations. Today's Thursday and they're still closed and the word, the word on the street is that they're gonna be closed till Saturday. So we're gonna stay here till Saturday, but the rooms are reserved and we had just one night. So likely we're just gonna go, go on ahead and just wait by the ferry if you have to camp. So that's, that's the situation at the moment. We're just stranded here at Eagle Plains. Uh, there is uh, pretty much one gas station, one motel and one campground and a whole bunch of truckers who are waiting here and there are a whole bunch of truckers who are waiting by the ferry and uh, a lot of people who are stranded on both sides of the river waiting for this ferry to open. So hopefully they will open soon, but this is where we are right now. Arctic Circle, we made it. The ferries are still closed, so we hang out a little bit and then get going. But this is it. This is the Arctic Circle. This is the furthest north I have ever been. When I was in Alaska in 2015 in an island, uh, the village of Shishmaref, that was 30 miles south of the Arctic Circle. Now I am at the actual Arctic Circle. We're gonna continue on north and go way into the Arctic Circle until the road ends. Hopefully the ferry will be operational and will help us across. Fingers crossed. As we move north, the terrain is, has become more and more barren. There was a time when there were all the evergreens, tall evergreens, and then they got shorter. And as we pass the Arctic Circle, it, there, I don't see any more trees. There are pretty much um, no trees or very few. But it seems like as we go north, uh, the terrain will be more and more barren, which is very, which is, I guess, expected.
Got to put it four wheel drive. Dempster Highway is so, so far is just a very long dirt road. We drove from Dawson City to Great Plains, and then from Great Plains we continue on and pass the Arctic Circle, and then into the Northwest Territories, and onto the uh, first ferry at the Peel River Ferry. Peel River Ferry is a cable operated ferry, and when we got there, it was uh, it has ceased operation because of the high waters. So when we arrived, the ferry was still closed. We are going to wait until we hear word uh, from uh, the, uh, the, I guess the harbor master uh, to see when it's gonna be open. But right now there are about a line of cars and trucks and uh, RVs and motorcyclists waiting to get crossed. So we are gonna wait and uh, see what happens. Uh, if you uh, like this video so far, I like it, subscribe to the channel, and until the next video, take care.